Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 people with the highest IQs ever recorded. We're talking about minds so brilliant they warp our perception of what's humanly possible. Get ready to meet the minds that push the boundaries of human intellect, folks. Prepare to be amazed by the incredible minds that have shaped our world. From the realm of theoretical physics to the cold depths of space, these minds have dared to venture where few have gone before. They've challenged our assumptions, expanded our understanding, and left an indelible mark on history. So, buckle up, get ready for a cosmic ride through the lives and accomplishments of these intellectual giants. Our journey begins with William James Cedis, a name synonymous with prodigious intellect. Born in 1898, Cedis showed extraordinary intellectual prowess from a very young age. I mean, we're talking reading the New York Times at 18 months, 18 months. By age eight, he taught himself eight languages. Eight, he even developed his own language, Vendergood, which he detailed in a book he wrote at age eight. Estimates put his IQ somewhere between 250 and 300, which is just mind boggling. Imagine the processing power, the sheer intellectual bandwidth of a brain like that. At the tender age of 11, Sidis entered Harvard University, becoming the youngest person ever to do so at the time. Can you picture yourself at 11 years old amidst the hallowed halls of Harvard? Despite his intellectual gifts, Sidis faced personal struggles and a fraught relationship with the spotlight. He eventually retreated from public life. What is the cost of genius? Was he born too smart for this world? Next up, we have a living legend in the world of mathematics, Terence Tao. Born in Adelaide, Australia in 1975, Tao's brilliance was evident from the get-go. At just two years old, while other kids were still mastering the art of walking and talking, Tao was already tackling arithmetic problems. Arithmetic! This kid was doing math before he could form full sentences. With an astounding IQ of 230, Tao has made groundbreaking contributions to number theory, harmonic analysis, and partial differential equations. He's won just about every math award you can think of, including the Fields Medal, often called the Nobel Prize of Mathematics. What I find truly remarkable about Tao is not just his raw intelligence, but his humility and collaborative spirit. He's known to be incredibly generous with his time, working with mathematicians across the globe. Tao's story is a testament to the power of dedication and passion. He's a true inspiration for aspiring mathematicians and a shining example of how genius can be a force for good in the world. Marilyn Voss Savant, born in 1946, held the Guinness World Record for the highest recorded IQ, 228, for several years. Think about that for a second. Her name was literally in the Book of World Records, right there next to the tallest man and the largest ball of yarn. But Vos Savant didn't lock herself in an ivory tower. Instead, she chose to share her wisdom with the world through Ask Marilyn, her column in Parade magazine. Week after week, readers would send her their questions, riddles, logic puzzles, philosophical quandaries, and she would answer them with clarity and wit. What I admire most about Vos Savant is her dedication to making complex ideas accessible. She never talked down to her audience, and she had a knack for explaining even the most complicated concepts in a way that anyone could understand. She once famously answered the Monty Hall problem, a probability puzzle, in a way that challenged conventional thinking. Thousands of people, including mathematicians, wrote to her arguing that she was wrong, but she stuck to her guns, and guess what? She was absolutely right. Marilyn Vos Savant is a reminder that intelligence is not just about solving complex equations. It's about using your mind to engage with the world around you. Chapter 4 Christopher Hirata, A Cosmic Mind Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to meet a bona fide rocket scientist. Christopher Hirata, born in 1982, is one of the most brilliant astrophysicists of our time. At age 13, 13, he was winning International Physics Olympiads. By 16, he was working with NASA on projects related to colonizing Mars. Colonizing Mars? And this was before most kids his age got their driver's licenses. With an IQ of 225, Hirata's work has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. He's made significant contributions to the study of dark matter, gravitational lensing and cosmic background radiation. What's truly inspiring about Hirata is his relentless curiosity and his passion for unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. He's a true pioneer 
pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and reminding us that the universe is full of wonder and endless possibilities. Chapter 5 Kim Ung Yong, The Engineering Prodigy Kim Ung Yong, born in South Korea in 1962, is a testament to the incredible learning capabilities of the human brain. With an IQ of 210, he's a certified genius, but that's only part of his amazing story. Get this, at six months old, Kim Ung Yong started speaking, not baby talk, mind you, but full sentences. By his first birthday, he was reading Korean, Japanese, German, and English. I mean, come on! At the age of three, three, he was taking university-level courses. He even worked as a guest student of physics at Hanyang University from the age of three to six. That's right, folks. This kid was doing college-level physics before most kids were learning their ABCs. While Kim Ong Yong's story is certainly extraordinary, it also raises interesting questions about the nature of intelligence and the pressures we sometimes put on child prodigies. He eventually chose a career path outside of academia, finding happiness in civil engineering. His story reminds us that there are many ways to live a fulfilling life and that sometimes the greatest gift we can give ourselves is the freedom to pursue our own passions, whatever they may be. Chapter 6. Garry Kasparov, Master of the Mind Game. Garry Kasparov, a name synonymous with chess mastery. Born in 1963, Kasparov is widely regarded as one of the greatest chess players of all time. With an IQ of 194, his strategic brilliance and tactical cunning are legendary. Imagine the mental stamina it takes to calculate dozens of moves ahead, to anticipate your opponent's every thought, to outmaneuver and outwit them on a 64-square battlefield. That's the essence of Garry Kasparov. At the age of 22, he became the youngest ever undisputed world chess champion, a title he held for a remarkable 15 years. He was known for his aggressive playing style, his relentless pursuit of victory, and his ability to see patterns and possibilities that others simply missed. But Kasparov's story is more than just chess. It's a story about the human mind's potential, about the power of focus and determination and about the never-ending quest to push beyond our limits. Chapter 7. Leonardo da Vinci, the ultimate Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci. The name conjures up images of masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. But da Vinci, born in 1452, was far more than just a painter. He was a sculptor, an architect, an engineer, a scientist, an inventor, a musician, a writer. The list goes on and on. With an estimated IQ between 180 and 190, Da Vinci embodies the very essence of the Renaissance ideal, the pursuit of knowledge in all its forms. He was a true polymath, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to understand the world around him. From his anatomical drawings that revolutionized our understanding of the human body to his futuristic inventions that foreshadowed helicopters and tanks, Da Vinci's genius knows no bounds. His notebooks are filled with sketches, diagrams and observations that offer a glimpse into one of the most remarkable minds in history. Leonardo da Vinci's legacy is a testament to the power of human curiosity, creativity and the interconnectedness of all knowledge. Chapter 8 Judith Polgar, Queen of the Chessboard In the world of chess, Judith Polgar stands as a true iconoclast. Born in Hungary in 1976, she's widely regarded as the strongest female chess player of all time. With an IQ of 170, she dominated a game long considered a male domain. Imagine the pressure of being a prodigy, of being pitted against the world's best chess players, many of whom were men twice her age. Judith Polgar not only handled that pressure, she thrived on it. At the age of 15, she became the youngest chess grandmaster at the time, surpassing even Bobby Fischer's record. She went on to defeat 11 world champions in either classical or rapid chess, including Garry Kasparov himself. Judith Polgar's story is a testament to the power of dedication, perseverance and unwavering self-belief. She shattered stereotypes and blazed a trail for women in chess, proving that brilliance knows no gender. Chapter 9. Albert Einstein, the father of modern physics. Albert Einstein. The name is synonymous with genius. Born in Germany in 1879, Einstein's theories revolutionized our understanding of space, time, gravity, and the universe itself. 
His iconic equation, E equals mc squared, is more than just a formula, it's a cultural touchstone, a symbol of the elegance and power of theoretical physics. With an estimated IQ between 160 and 190, Einstein's mind delved into the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Imagine a world where time is not absolute, where gravity is not a force but a curvature of space-time, where mass and energy are two sides of the same coin. That's the world that Einstein revealed to us. His theories of special and general relativity were not just intellectual exercises, they had profound implications for our understanding of the universe and led to groundbreaking technologies like GPS. Albert Einstein's legacy is a testament to the power of human imagination, the importance of questioning everything and the enduring allure of the unknown. Chapter 10. Stephen Hawking. A mind unbound by limits. Our journey through the cosmos of great minds concludes with Stephen Hawking, a man who defied the limitations of his own body to explore the farthest reaches of the universe. Born in 1942, Hawking was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, at the age of 21, a debilitating disease that gradually paralyzed him. But Hawking refused to let his condition define him. With an IQ of 160 and an unyielding spirit, he continued to make groundbreaking contributions to theoretical physics, particularly in the fields of black holes and quantum mechanics. Imagine the sheer willpower it took to overcome such adversity, to communicate through a computer system, to write books that became international bestsellers, and to inspire millions around the world. Hawking's work on black hole radiation, the idea that black holes are not entirely black but emit a faint radiation, revolutionized our understanding of these enigmatic objects. His book, A Brief History of Time, brought complex scientific concepts to the masses, making him a global science icon. Stephen Hawking's life is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, the power of perseverance and the boundless nature of human curiosity. He taught us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, the human mind can achieve extraordinary things. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. We've journeyed through the lives and accomplishments of 10 extraordinary minds, each a testament to the incredible potential of the human brain. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. There are countless other brilliant minds out there, past and present, who have shaped our world and pushed the boundaries of human knowledge. Who do you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, the universe is vast and full of mysteries just waiting for curious minds like yours to explore them. Until next time, keep looking up.